It really stuff. does. The immersion. I mean, even in, even in this, which I think is pretty feels pretty realistic. The immersion I got from that Oculus Rift was more. You know, it really felt real. But that's it. I mean, that's, that's the whole point of it. You know, you're, yeah. you're, 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 you're in that. I mean, it's like when I'm flying my Spitfire at home. Because uh, I've got like a big telly, you know, yep. like 32 inch. Yep. And everybody's sort of coming, what are you doing? You know, but the trouble is, I've got my headphones, like, oh, we are now. And I'll get so immersed in it. Yeah, like, you do, I'm yeah. Like, I'm actually there, sort of thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, we, have some, we have some good old, uh, we have some good old scraps anyway, so. Okay, so you probably notice now we're starting to descend. Okay. Uh, you're just still following the flight director, so your job is just to keep the nose on the centre of that cross, but the aircraft's now directing you to come down to 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Yeah. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> you're doing a really nice job. What we're going to do, when we get down a little bit closer to Jersey, we're going to deviate from our flight plan and come out here a little bit. Okay. Um, because that's quite a, a sharp turn. So we'll come out here just to give you a little bit more, a um, little bit more chance of intercepting the uh, yes. the glide path. Yeah. Okay. But for now, we'll just carry on following our flight plan. And I'm going to start going through our approach check. So the first thing I need to do, so we're now really operating like a flight crew. You're the pilot flying, okay. and I'm the pilot assisting. So I need to get our radio set up so that we intercept the um, ILS. So I'm just going to tune those in, both sides for us. So you get the co-pilot at no extra cost here. <laughs> I'm the flying instructor and, and the co-pilot. <laughs> Okay. So we're tuned into the ILS now at Jersey. Once we get around about 27 miles, probably just within this 30 mile ring, okay. we'll see it'll pop up there saying ILS. Okay. Um, or we may just get a DME, a distance uh, from the airport, and that's when we know that it'll, it's uh, picked up the, uh, the beacon. So meanwhile, we're about to pass through 10,000 feet, so... I will um, start going through our approach checks. So I'm going to bring the landing lights on. I'm going to turn the engine start switches to continuous. Okay. This passenger seat seatbelt sign will go back on so that the passengers know to sit down. That's pretty much all we need to do for the time being. You see the next thing that's happened now, you don't, you don't, don't get this on the Spitfire. <laughs> the aircraft's now bugged down the speed automatically for us, because okay. by the time we get to this next point, Angler, we want to be down at 246 knots. So you see the aircraft's already now set our speed down to 246, yep. okay. and it's trying to slow us down. Okay. Now at the moment, that's a bit of a job, because we're descending as well. One thing airliners don't do very well is slow down. slow down. Yeah, so, but we can see the trend is coming down, that the, the airspeed is coming down. I'm just going to pick up the ATIS for Jersey now. Let's have a little listen to what the weather's Echo doing Golf. there. Juliet, Juliet, airport information, Lima, 0820, Zulu, weather, wind, 011, at 11, visibility, 10, sky clear, temperature, 14, dew point, 11, Q and H, 1015, advice on initial contact. So we're just going to start deviating slightly from our flight plan, okay? Okay. So it's going to be a slight left-hand turn onto a new heading of 160 degrees. And there's the coast of France there over the left-hand side. 
I used to do this flight, not from Gatwick, but from an airport just near Stratford, oh, okay. Wellsbourne. I used to do this in a little light aircraft years ago. I lived, uh, well, I say we, we used to live out in Jersey for a few years. Well, I've been going back about 40 odd years it's now. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's a lovely. Oh, I absolutely anyway. love it. I used to go to uh, St. Oban's a lot. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We lived. So um, there's Jersey there, like, actually, over on the right hand side. Oh, yeah, I see it there. Yeah, where did you live? Um, St. Clements. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of, like, uh, just the east side of yeah. um, St. Helier, basically, yeah. so. What made you move here? Um, well, we, we lived here. I've been I'm obviously born and bred in the UK, and then my dad, he uh, he's an engineer, and uh, he went out there to work, so he took us all out there. I think he was out there for about a year, year and a half. Ah, uh, okay, okay. What a back. lovely place to live, eh? Oh, yeah, too right. Yeah, we'll see, we've picked up the distance measuring equipment now for Jersey, so okay. we'll see the airport's 22.8 miles from us. So I'm just going to turn our auto brake now to setting three. Okay. Going to arm our speed brake. Okay, so quite a short runway at Jersey. Okay. So that makes thing life a little bit more difficult for us <laughs> because it means we're going to need to be as slow as we can be and we're going to need to try and touch down as early as we possibly can on the runway. If we kind of touch down halfway, we're never going to make it. Make we're going to go straight off the edge and, uh, and, and into the sea. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Which we don't want to do that. No, I know. But the way you follow in this flight director, I don't think we'll have any problems. I think it'll be fine. Haven't seen me land with Spitfire sometimes. <laughs> 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 it doesn't bode well sometimes. <laughs> well, here's our approach speed. So once we get settled on the uh, glide slope, we're going to go to um, flaps 30 down to 135 knots. Okay. And then when we get about a mile from the runway, we'll go full flap and down to 127 knots. So we're going to be coming in quite slow. Okay. Pretty much as slow as we dare. Okay. So it's the right turn now to start intercepting the uh, localizer. Make sure we concentrate and try and keep the loop square on. <laughs> well, actually, that's the point, isn't it? That's why there's a pilot flying and a pilot monitoring because. You know, you imagine trying to do all this as well as what yeah, you're doing yeah, right now. Yeah, it's taking it's all you 
it's takes it a, takes away your time, don't yeah. it? So yeah. Imagine when it's so that's why it's my job really just to try to take the workload off you oh, so you can concentrate on actually flying it. But I'm thinking like real world you've got all the weather and all the obviously all the other factors coming into it yeah. as well, so that's right. Okay, doing a lovely job. Just pull that nose up. Now, as we start to slow down in a minute or so, okay. so you're going to need to pull back a little bit more, you'll find that you'll probably have to have to start pulling back a bit more because okay. the nose is going to have a tendency to drop away. drop away. Okay, so we're now just intercepted the localizer for the instrument landing system. Runway's okay. there. You can see it on the far edge of the island, red yep, lights. Yep, I've got you. Uh, but really, you want to be on your uh, flight director. But everything's looking good so far, so let's just fly that approach nice and smooth is it Doddington you stay track day where oh yeah had all, the <laughs> had all the aircraft coming in over the top was fantastic <laughs> was that on your motorbike uh, yeah 